Hi, my name is Sakura and I'm with the Beehive Design Collective and we're here at York University as part of the Art of Resistance Tour. So me and Hip Hop Artist Testament are touring across um, Canada all the way to BC. The Beehive Collective is an artist and activist collective and what we do is we create these metaphor rich um, giant graphic so that become the centerpieces of educational campaigns around social justice issues. Uh, the one I'm presenting tonight is behind me. It's called Mesoamerica Resiste, and it's about resistance to large-scale infrastructure projects in Mesoamerica. But more generally, it's about um, resistance to global capitalism. Well, I actually got involved with Beehive. I met them on the border of California and Mexico at a No Borders camp, and. Um, so I met them and fell in love with them, uh, literally. You know, right away I started touring with them, telling them new stories to add. So we have the outside, which is right here, and then it opens up to the inside, which is over here. And the reason that we did that is to showcase two drastically different world visions. What we're looking at here is two sides of the same poster. And so this is the top-down view of the world drawn in the style of an old world map as an allusion to colonization. And when you open up the poster, you get a completely different perspective, right? Drawn as if you're an ant on one of these root structures, looking up at a giant sabre tree. They're scientifically illustrated to be animals that are either endangered or extinct in this region of Mesoamerica, and they represent the presence of ancestors. And so that brings to light another contrast. This mono vision of development versus the diversity of the grassroots. And that's a theme that's repeated throughout the inside of this graphic, which is the strength and diversity, that it's in diversity that we're gonna find the solutions to um, challenges that face us like climate change. So we choose this medium because it's a great educational medium. And you know, it also, um, we do it for the people that are in the graphic as well, uh, so that they can use popular education techniques to teach each other about the struggles. And also I think it's just, really nice as a resistance movement if you're in the struggle um, to be able to see yourself in our graphics. Uh, the creative process, well, everything always starts with a lot of research and then uh, what we call a listening trip. And so, for example, Mesoamerica Resiste started with a six-month tour of Mesoamerica. After the research is done, you know, we follow up with a lot of, like, reading of books and just reading of the history and reading of every single thing we can get our hands on. You know, the, the insects and wildlife of the region, the plants and animals. And after that, we start to try to create a frame. Uh, we do a lot of brainstorms and mind maps and try to, you know, think of all of the uh, essential themes that we want to get in there and then eventually whittle it down to, um, you know, the basic structure the structure with, in which we carry the story. We are always, like I said, every year, accepting new bees. And so we put out a call out based on our needs um, of like what roles we have to fill. And um, also sign up for our listserv and then you can find out when we're touring. And we love to be hosted by people. And if you have particular like design skills, like if you're an incredible artist, um, you know, we are working on two new graphics, um, the California project, uh, isn't at the point yet where we've made a call out for artists, but we will be recruiting a bunch more artists to move to California for six months and work on this epic piece about California.